Hi, in this little video, I'm going to show you how you can use your TI-83 or 84 in order to find the vertex of a parabola. So we want to start out with an example, and I'll be using the example of f of x is equal to x squared plus 6x plus 14. Remember that you can think of f of x as y. And so it's in this form of ax squared plus bx plus c. So don't forget that the a in that, in that general form is also the a in the vertex form. When we get done, we're going to have to take our answer and put it into the vertex form. So let's get started. Press the Y equals button on your calculator. This will bring up the graphing commands. The next thing you want to do is insert your particular function. In this case, I'm going to use that, uh, that example given above as X squared plus 6X plus 14. So I press the X tau theta N button and then squared plus 6x plus 14. On this piece of paper off to the side, I'm going to link that to my YouTube video. And this will show you the button presses that I use. So we just finished step two. So let's go to step three. And I recommend pressing the zoom button and then zoom six for zoom standard. What this is going to do is it's going to set your entire screen, your screen, your calculator up to negative 10 to 10 on both the X and the Y. If it doesn't show up, you can always go back into zoom and then press the zoom out button, would be uh, number three, or you can scroll down and press it. All right, to find the vertex, we need to identify whether it's first a minimum or a maximum. And as you can see, the, the parabola comes down and then goes back up. So we want that point right at the bottom there, which is a minimum. So what we're going to do is we are going to press the second key and then we're going to press the trace button to activate calculate. You'll see this screen that's shown over here on the piece of paper. And then we want to press option three. So you can either press the number three or you can scroll down and press enter. So now it's asking for a left bound. What you want to do is use your left and right arrows to move the cursor until you are absolutely to the left of that bottom end. And so <clears throat> as I move left and right, I don't have to be severely left, I just have to be a little bit. Once you think you're left, go ahead and press enter. And now it's asking you for a right bound. So you're gonna press the right arrow key until you are absolutely on the right side of it, press enter. It's going to ask you to guess, but again, this is a calculator. I, I want to take the guesswork out of calculator, so I just hit enter. And it magically finds it. And in some other classes, you might talk about how does it magically find the, the vertex. Uh, there are some calculations involved. That's why every now and then when you get it, you're going to get these decimal points that are very, very close to something, but not quite there. It's because there's an error in the calculation. That's just, it's just natural. So we have the minimum at negative three, five, all right? So now we have to put that back into an equation. Well, in the original form, as I scroll back up, you'll notice that it's X minus H. Well, H is negative in this case, so it has to be X minus a negative three, and then a plus five at the end. And that's how we get these two things here. That's it. It's pretty simple. All right. Hope this helped you.